Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It's your girl Twin D, and as I began, I have a number for you guys, 353. <laughs> so look up that number and see what it means to you. Okay, thank you all for joining, thank you all for being here. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and also watch the messages. Look, the cards, they can't stop falling out. I, I think I really need to start this message. All right, let's begin, guys. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Let's see what's going on. What's coming in from these divine masculines here? Or from some of our divine masculines. Let's see what they're up to. All right, Father God, what's coming in here? We have happiness. Enjoying each other. And on the bottom is passion. Having a lot of fun together. So, listen, man, I'm, I'm telling you, these messages, they're coming in. Some of you will be meeting up with your divine masculines. Some way, somehow. And don't, do not think about how, when, we or why, okay? Just know that this is going to happen here. Let's see what else is happening. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, mm -hmm. their ego, their ego. Some of your divine masculines are going to be taking steps to put aside their ego their lack of confidence. Some of them, they're in relationships where they are not comfortable. They are not feeling like they are enough. Some of these divine masculines, they did sabotage this connection with you and them because of said relationship. But they're realizing, like, I cannot change this person. I can only change myself. So they're taking steps to make those changes. Heartbroken. Your masculines are in heartbreak right now. And this is two things. They're heartbroken because they're in separation from you because they realize that they truly made a mistake by um, self-sabotaging. When they realize that they should have moved forward instead of backwards. And others, they're in this heartbreak because they're going through separations of their own. Breaking free from those people, things. Letting go of the addictions. Letting go of their ego. And finally starting to see things in a different light. One that's going to help them. See again, separation. Sadness. They're missing you. They're missing you. So we have your divine masculines here missing you a lot. Missing you more than you would expect. And it's because they're not saying anything. They're not showing you anything either. Now your masculines, they're not sure about what's going to happen between you and them. They're not, they're not sure if they can have you back. Cupid's arrow. So they are moving forward. They are moving in. They are coming in for you. They're not sure how things are going to work out. But they're going to put aside the what, where, how, when, why. And have that faith. In God, because they are changing their perception, change, changing the way they think and do things. Some of your divine masculines, they are trying to come forward. They are trying to send that message. They are trying to, to come and talk to you, to come and see you. But they are hesitating. They are holding back. They are holding back. So some of them are just going to show up out of nowhere. That call is just going to come out of... Thank you. This call is just going to come out of nowhere. 
just like that suddenly because they're just gonna just do it because they've been thinking they've been trying to to reach out they've been trying to again control the way things work and when they do it and how they do it but they're realizing it's never ever gonna be the right time so they're just gonna do it it's gonna be a surprise not today they're hurt they're hurt they're hurt and that's why they aren't communicating that's why they're not saying anything that's why they're hesitating on communicating with you because they're hurt these are masculines they have to learn to set their boundaries is here they have to learn to set their boundaries five 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 and they're gonna make those changes they're gonna set those boundaries see they're still angry they're still hurt for some of these of my masculines, it's like I realize what what was happening in the past. I re now realize that I made the wrong mistake, the wrong choice by going back. A mistake they don't want to admit. Because in everybody's life, it's never good to go back, you know? 535. Five. It's never good to go back. Especially when whatever you're moving back towards was the source of your pain. Nobody leaves anything that is good. Nobody walks away from anything that is good. And most of our masculines, they were on their way out of something because it wasn't good. It was hurtful. And they made the wrong choice to return. So now they're seeing that they sabotage themselves like when they could have had a good life, good times, happiness, joy, because they experienced it with you in those short moments you were together. And you're realizing now that, yeah, I did make a mistake. What else is going on with these very masculines, please? Your I like you, the snake, and the palm tree. Your divine masculines is going to make that effort to come forward. They realize that the love that they have for you is it, not going anywhere. They realize that them loving you was not a mistake. But it was the best choice. And the best feeling that they've ever had. There was somebody else in the picture. There was somebody else in the picture. Somebody else that broke their heart. Somebody else who slithered their way back into the masculine's life. This person that was like forcing the divine masculines because they know the divine masculine's feelings for them forcing them to remain even though they know the divine masculine wasn't happy but it was not for the divine masculine's um gain it was for their gain so they cared not about how the divine masculines felt this person was very smart this person was a manipulator, very devious. Whoever these persons are or were, your masculines realize that there could be no growth with them. No growth. They're running from them now. <laughs> They're running from them now. Give me one more, please. They're running from them now. That sudden change. And that surprise that I'm telling you about. Things are going to start to speed up between you and your divine masculines. Your masculines are ready. Whoever these masculines are, they're ready to get back out there. 
So they're gonna call you up. It's gonna be a surprise. The hammer on the top. They wanna rebuild. They wanna work on your connection 1010 and 111. There's gonna be some questions coming in from, excuse me, yeah. Coming in from your Divine Masculines, 1022. They're gonna wanna find something out about you. I don't know what it is. What they wanna say. When they're talking to you, let them talk. You'll find out then. But they're gonna want some answers from you. Your masculines have overcome these struggles and obstacles that they were facing. They have grown. They have changed. Now they're preparing for union. Now they're preparing for union. Maybe that's why they're going to want these questions that they have to be answered by you. Whatever those questions are going to be. What else can you tell me that's coming in from these divine masculines? Please, Father God, what else, please? Yeah, themselves, yes. <laughs> Some of your masculines are coming to see you. They realize that you are the one for them. You are true love. They love you for a reason. And it's because they should have. Some of these very masculines, they were forcing themselves not to love you, not to acknowledge the way they felt about you. Because there was somebody else in the picture. But they themselves were also forcing themselves to stick by someone, to love someone that only caused them heartbreak. They're realizing it's not worth it. It's not worth it. The garden. You're going to meet up with your divine masculine in some way, somehow. They may be coming to see you. You may be meeting up with them, with the garden. There's going to be some sort of celebration. Could be around this festive season. But there are conversations that are going to be had. It's the same thing why these divine masculines, they have some questions to ask you. They have some questions to ask you, divine feminine. You got the moon. Your divine masculines are going through their cycles. Things are being revealed to them. Where they need to be, it's being shown to them. Your masculines were living in a world of delusion. Because they were forcing themselves to remain in situations that they know that they were heartbroken in. But they're taking these steps and they're moving away from those things. They're moving away. Changing direction. No longer self-sabotaging. See that? Confusion. Delays. With all the problems. The misunderstandings. The confusion. Now they can see clearly because the moon is out. Now everything has been revealed to them. Your maskings are on their way for their abundance. And there you go. The Stark. For this brand new beginning. For this brand new beginning. The mice. There you go. The mistakes that they made. The chaos. The confusion. The worries. They're no longer like blocking themselves off from you. Not worried about how things are going to work out. How am I going to get it? Does this person still want me? They're going to come forward. Because they realize they got to fight for this. They got to fight for this. They got to release all those negative things. If they want to be happy. See the conflict, the argument, the confusion. All of these are being revealed to your masculines. The new beginning, what was causing their confusion, what was causing their delays, everything is being revealed to them. And all they're looking forward to know is their happiness, their joy, 
and you're coming in with that apology and that conversation. There you go. Some of your divine masculines may be younger than you are, but you're coming in to have that conversation. Yeah, right. 1515 with their divine feminine, with their other half, with this person that they may lose if they don't take action. So your divine masculines, they're becoming more wiser. They're becoming more wiser, realizing what they need to let go and what they need to work on. They have questions for you. But you got to wait until they get to you. Five, four, five. <laughs> Twice. You got to wait until they get to you before you can know what those questions are. And don't go snooping around, okay? Don't go snooping around. This has been your message, everyone. Take care of yourself. Let go and let God. Make sure that you purchase your book or a reading at twindflamed.square.site. Your bracelets, your keychains, your bath bombs, and incense. Go to twindholisticboutique.square.site. Don't forget to watch 30 seconds of the ads that are going to pop up, guys. That's the way for you to support me. If you can't send me any donation, if you can't purchase a book, if you can't purchase a reading, support me by watching those ads. All right? Love you all. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at your next message. Later.